I like what I'm seeing from Donawa here. Good, smart play, kind of claiming as much real estate as they could and then falling into this warehouse, which is super, super good. Uh, anybody who's played in these circles knows that this warehouse affords you a lot of vision and a lot of power relatively safely. It's hard to crash that compound. It's doable, uh, but it's pretty difficult to do. And then you got to run the risk that maybe somebody found a panzer in that warehouse. And they're just going to blow you up on the way in. It's kind of cursed because if he... If whatever reason the circle moves from that position, oh yeah, you're just as dead as anybody that's trying True. to make their way in. True. Um, it, it is tough to it is tough to rotate anywhere in this circle. Yeah, this is a back to our trend of pretty open circles, right? It's either going to be an urban ending or there's going to be near on no cover. That kind of has been the the theme of the event so far. Tiamba's going to go ahead and get themselves this dip with the shack that's going to be right next to it. I was calling out the fact that Twisted Minds was making an emergency pickup and a rotation as well, I believe, but it looks like they got shoot away from that based off of Legacy's position, but they got the compound just out of the crossroads, which is pretty much as good. Yeah, it's actually a really nice compound uh, with, that, with that ridge side outside of the blue. It's a very strong compound, very defendable. A lot of teams really, really like it there. So frankly, that's a huge find for Twisted Minds. The fact that nobody's taken that yet, yeah. yeah, it is rather shocking. So I mean, that's why they're the best. I mean, they're or among the best. And they're, it's yeah. getting a crate? That's even better. Well then, I, I mean, mean, just <laughs> benefit upon benefit. That is the real estate option <laughs> of this round. Yeah, their minds aren't twisted anymore. I feel like their minds are straightening out for sure. Just enjoying vibing over there right now. Day trade though, not doing too much vibing as they were over in Everest and now you can see, yes, and yes, Naya, because they had to wrap entirely around. Now gonna be coming in. Oh. Cerberus already has a line on them, so if they cross this direction, they're gonna get in trouble. They are gonna wrap between Yes Naya, probably go north of the lake, go into no lean, and that means that FaZe will probably spot them in, I don't know, what, maybe a minute or so, 30 seconds. No, this is, yeah, I mean, option B here for day trade, but at least Mini Oz is still in this circle, so they can stop up there, regroup, get their bearings, get some info from the top of those hills, and work their way down. And the nice thing about playing from those positions is you have a relative amount of safety for probably the next one or two circles at the very least. If you're lucky and it hardships east, you're in a phenomenal position uh, to potentially do some serious damage. Like we saw Purple Mood on the last game yesterday where they almost got through. Uh, they played from a similar position to what Daytrade's doing now. That was so, so close for Purple Mood, man. I mean, heartbreaking. Uh, it, no matter how that was going to go, SSG just didn't have the best round inside that one. We're clinging to life. You saw them have to do a, just a desperation send to just try to see if they could get some safety plays out of it. And it was, we've had a lot of miracle comebacks. It was.